Yo guys, how's it going? OG Kish back with another video today. I'm going to be talking about the open workouts for Logan Paul and KSI. There's a lot to talk about. I have some timestamps here from the open workouts all the way from 12 minutes from when they got into the ring to 45 minutes to when it ended. Just so you guys know, the last press conference is on Thursday and the weigh-ins are on Friday. Alright, so the very first thing I want to say is Jake Paul has been in Logan Paul's side on his corner, whatever the hell you want to call it. For almost the entire time and i want to say he does not seem very confident now there's been talk about him really wanting to fight ksi but he also wants to fight his brother and i think it's mainly for money it's mainly just a money fight at the end of the day or it's for that brother love hate relationship if you know what i'm getting at so i just want to say i do not think Jake Paul is very confident in his brother, but at the same time, you know, he's been boosting him and hyping him up a lot. I think JJ's got, like you said, he's a bit of a dog, and I think Logan's not really going to be prepared for when he does get buzzed, and it's about how he reacts. I think Logan's got a lot of a nervous energy in front of crowds. I think he has a fear of failure, and I think if he does get buzzed, and in the later rounds, once once he's past two, I believe it's JJ's fight to lose. And, and the fear of failure, I think it's going to provoke a negative reaction out of him, and I think JJ will probably end it, uh, probably in the fifth round, I think. Solid. So then again, in the open workouts, they're not trying to give anything away. They're not trying to really show too much, but they just want to show that they're able to box and that they're able to do what they're doing. It's basically just a warm-up. It's basically just showing the crowd what is going on. But the fact that Jake Paul could not respond with a single word there shows that Honestly, he doesn't seem that confident in his brother. And like I said earlier, it might be because he wants to fight his brother. But at the end of the day, who actually knows? Shannon, Shannon, ooh. Oh my lord. I might have to go fuck someone else. Oh my lord. Go. Now at this point, Shannon, let's go champ, starts beefing KSI. And they get into a little bit of an altercation. Not really an altercation, but they're just yelling and talking to each other, basically. I think he was just trying to get into KSI's head a little bit here in the open workouts and try and make him think and overthink going into the fight. No, Jake's yeah. getting carried away there. It's not a... KSI trying to it, get it's, into... It's, it's JJ and Shannon going at it right now. So clearly both teams don't like each other. I mean, it's pretty obvious from the first fight they had. I Like, even Logan Paul comes out and says it himself. There's not too much to like about each other going into this fight. I mean, when you're fighting each other, the teams are going to obviously beef each other. Cornermen, coaches, whatever it is at the end of the day, they're not going to like each other going into this fight. And it's pretty obvious what they're doing here. It's mind game tactics. Is that a uh, mental tactics or is that... No, I don't know. Um... I mean, our whole team has a problem with his whole team. Now, before I get deep into this, we're already getting kind of deep into it, but I want to say I'm taking KSI over Logan Paul, but I do think Logan Paul has way more of a chance of knocking him out in the first couple of rounds. Now, when it comes to the overall fight, okay, Logan Paul has the first round, the second round to really do something here, but as soon as that happens, I, he... Already looks like he's sweating his ass off. You only did like a 20-minute workout, okay? Then again, they're not trying to show everything that they're doing, right? This is only a small percentage of what they're actually doing and working out and all the, the whole picture, right? It's only a small percentage. But he already looks like he's sweating his ass off. He's been drinking a shit ton of water when he was doing the interview, okay? I Going into this fight, if KSI can keep away from these big shots, or if he can just take these big shots, tire out Logan Paul in the first and second round, the rest of the fight is, is KSI's, 100%, without a doubt. But those first two rounds are critical for both of the fighters because that is when Logan Paul is at his peak. Okay, He's fresh into the fight. He can land those shots to end it. And now that we're not dealing with headgear and they are 10-ounce gloves, the gloves are smaller, it's a lot different. Remember this moment? People are gonna, people are gonna ask who thought it was a good idea to put that clown in a ring with me. But you have shared a ring before. Now in this next clip, KSI lifts his shirt up, and Jake Paul says, "Oh, he looks fat," but Logan Paul says, "Oh, he looks new." I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Brand new. He looks why fat. Can't, Brand why new. Can't I help he looks like he's trying to hype himself up there by jumping up and down, getting all excited and shit. I don't know. Man, I have no idea what's going on. There's a lot of mind games being played, and that's the main thing about a combat sport is getting into your opponent's head and making them get thrown off their game completely. 
when it is, I just know what's going to happen, and we're prepared for any round. He claims he's prepared for any round, which I 100% believe at the moment. I guess we'll see when the fight actually happens. He said, if it doesn't happen in round one, it'll happen in round two. If it doesn't happen in round two, it'll happen in ra- it'll happen in round three, etc., etc., etc. It goes on all the way to round six, okay? He said he's prepared for every single round, but is he actually? Is he actually? I don't know. I have no idea. Only time can tell. You'll see. It's looking very, very fluid. Hands down, though. I don't, you know, I mean, I guess he's, he's, he's walking up. <laughs> KSI looks like he's enjoying himself up there. Same with Logan Paul. But, I mean, KSI has his hands down the entire time he's up there. Then again, when it comes to the open workouts, they're not going to show everything that they can do. But when it comes down to it, if that is how he trains, that is most likely how he's actually going to fight. Not always, but you cannot be keeping your hands down, especially with a dude like Logan Paul on the other side. This guy, he, we saw from the first fight, he could land the shots to end it, okay? First and second round, but after that, he completely gassed out and he wasn't there. KSI had the rest of that fight, basically, for the most part. Let's get out, let's get out. Yeah. Let's go, JJ! Let's go, JJ. Woo! He's looking, he's looking quick. So KSI comes out with some moves right there. Man, I'm not going to lie. This camera angle was easily the worst camera angle for an open workout I've ever seen. You could barely see what was going on more than half the time. There was people in front of the ring. There was people in front of the camera. There was literally a point in time where the Pauls team was standing directly in front of the camera, doing an interview over to the side while they were trying to film the open workout. What are you doing? Get a better angle, please. How you feeling? How yeah. was that workout? Yeah, that was, that was easy. That was nothing, man. Like, that's that's like a percent of what I can do. Yeah, my stamina is ridiculous, so... Yeah, he's not ready for me, that's for sure. Both fighters extremely, extremely confident in themselves, their camps, their coaches, etc., etc. They've been training super hard for this fight, so obviously they're not going to be doubting at all. The only person that was kind of doubting was Jake Paul. When he was asked questions about his brother, he was not able to answer a few of them. But hey, he answered most of them pretty confidently, saying that his brother was going to pull through in this fight. Well, I didn't really. So, like, his shots never dazed me, never, like, finished me at any point. I wasn't, like, rocked. Like, a lot of people thought I was rocked. I wasn't. Now, KSI says that, but this fight is completely different, man. No headgear. Gloves are different. They've both trained extremely hard for this they're both going to be way stronger and way better fighters than they were going into their first one i think the result's going to be a lot different like i said earlier i'm taking ksi in this fight but logan paul has a really high chance of winning this in the first couple rounds depending on how his stamina comes out in the end but at the end of the day november 9th guys it will be everything all the answers we want will be in that fight that is probably going to do it for me guys make sure you hit that like button hit that sub button And that is that right there. Peace, boys.